Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with level one. No, a son of mine. Free play for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, we're finally to those collectibles. We're going to get the remaining gold bricks, those 10 mini kits. We're going to freely, 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 and of course, get that pesky character token we did not uncover in our story mission. So here we are. We're right in front of the old Avengers mansion. We're going to go ahead and use our nice mapography skills. That's right, we're going to go to our map and toggle over to the levels and choose free play level one, Noah son of mine. You can see here all of those collectibles are waiting for us. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in and grab them now which characters you grab at the front here don't really matter as you do have access to all of them however i did find the game automatically chose this giant beastly like character that kept coming up so yeah surter is kind of a pain in the burter if you know what i'm saying and uh, he definitely takes up a lot of our screen real estate space here. But uh, we wanted to go ahead and choose Ms. Marvel as we're going to need her first to go ahead and smash this blue box on the right hand side. Has some sort of a lock code on it, but we're not sure what that is. But we'll keep on keeping on and bust these boxes in the back to go ahead and reveal a hack spot. That's right. We're going to go ahead and get our hack on with Miss Marvel. So go ahead and build up that spot and hit the icon indicator to jump in and hack it like it's hot. I actually really appreciate these little hack games. They certainly switch things up, and it's different than the previous hacking games. Now, they're not very difficult either. You notice there's plenty of studage available, and although you get shocked a few times, uh, you find plenty of bluesies, and all you have to do is get to the end and hit that switch. So, all right, mini kit number one is officially about to be ours, and hey, what a better time than right now to go ahead and click that subscribe button if you have not already. That's right, shameless self-plug. Uh, officially over. So hey, we're going to switch on over to Sir Tur real quick and get him off the screen as he is blocking the pathway here. So no, I have not officially unlocked that mini kit yet. Essentially, once you hack that node and you rebuild that tube, uh, you can actually go ahead and bust this box open and build these bricks from that box into your very first mini kit. Aww. Isn't that special? So, all right, moving along next, we knew that Doctor Strange was going to be the next character we needed, so we went ahead and pulled out the Doctor. And look at that. We have almost got to our stud requirement already, thanks to our 4X stud multiplier, Pink Brick. That's right. If you are not familiar with what that is, you certainly missed out on our Preparing for Free Play video, and we highly recommend you check that out. Even though it's pretty simple and not a lot going on there, there's still some good information to be found. So, All right. Uh, as you make your way towards the front of the screen, you're going to pass two beds. Smash the one on the right and then use Doctor Strange's levitation ability to go ahead and move that cassette tape into the player and get quite the Guardians of the Galaxy little Easter egg special here because that was totally a, a Quinn thing here as uh, we went ahead and put the tape in. That's right. Who listens to cassette tapes anymore besides Quinn. Nobody! All right, dance away, get that mini kit, move along to the next one off to the left-hand side. That's right, look at that true believer. Now, the mini kit guide actually says to go ahead and smash these three lights on the left-hand side. However, it did not indicate there was a specific order. You actually have to go yellow, blue, red. At least we did. Now, uh, it should be the same for you, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that our Trophy Achievement Guide gets updated on that because, uh, yeah, that should be accurate information and easy for you to obtain this mini kit. Now, uh, speaking of Trophy Achievement Guide, as we go ahead and pick up that third mini kit, we do have a little bit of story stuff to go ahead and partake in, so we highly recommend you check out our quick links down below in the video description. If you're not familiar with Happy Thumbs and how we do our collectible videos, we always speed things up just ever so slightly. We always remove those cutscenes that aren't needed or relevant to what we got going on, and we of course always add those quick links down below so you can quickly get to those collectibles that you need next in a hurry so what, if you don't want to watch the story element you want to get to the next collectible it's going to be mini kit number four you can go ahead and click that right now meanwhile we're going to go ahead and play on through this now i did want to give a quick shout out to tyler p for putting together such an amazing trophy achievement guide for us now doug and tyler have been writing guides for us for a while and they're never easy and sometimes they're really lengthy and take a while to figure stuff out tyler knocked this one out the park quick style and we cannot tell you how happy and appreciative we are for that so that being said thank you tyler p and uh hey well we're giving some thanks why don't we go ahead and give a shout out to warner brothers too as you guys probably know warner brothers has been taking good care of us giving us all sorts of lego items and other packages too if you haven't uh, taken note of those, you should check out our unboxing playlist on our main YouTube channel. 
Uh, we've got all sorts of stuff, but they did hook us up with a copy of this game, and we are greatly appreciative of that as well. Now, as we open up this hole on the bottom of the ship and we get ready to jump in, it actually takes us to a cutscene here, and we're going to fade on into the next spot. Ready? Go! I actually left that in because I like the Drax part. Oh! How about in the second movie? How funny is Drax with all of his comments about sensitivities and stuff? That's pretty awesome, but... All right, as we move into the next area, we are kind of plagued with a stop moment here. We actually have to wait for this little uh, transmission to come through. And again, Sir Tur, what are you doing, man? Like, why does the game insist that I have this giant guy? Now, I actually use him here in a minute. His big monstrosity of a body actually helps collect a bunch of studs that come raining out of this pool on the right here in a second. So I do put him to use, but I get him out of the way. Watch, I switch him away right now. Watch, I'm changing character. It didn't matter who it was. I just wanted somebody small so that I didn't have to look at his giant body. But uh, he comes back. Now, once we have the control of our heroes here, we're going to drop down into these lower pools. And there are five little piles of rubbish under the water that you can see if you look carefully. And each one of those is actually the home of an eyeball that pops up. So there's one right in front of us in that second pool there. They do bounce back and forth between the front pool and the back pool. Right and left pool, north and south pool, however you want to call them. But uh, you can see here, we've got three of the five total. You just need to go and give them the old pow right in the... I guess it really, they don't really have a kisser, as it's just the eye, right? <laughs> Anyhow, I see what I did there. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. All right, that wasn't punny either. All right, moving along, we got all five. We collect that mini kit. We're going to fly towards the front of the screen. And you might have noticed there is this little wheel here that's got some frozen bits on it. And you might have also noticed Sir Tur is back. What is going on? Why does the game insist that I have him out? I'm hoping that's not going to be a running theme where it just decides which characters I have and don't have out. But hey, once you melt down that wheel there and you give it a quick spin, look at this. It is a stud fountain. It's rain and studs. Hallelujah. It's That's right. Look at that. We also got a mini kit out in the middle, too. And I thought, I'm going to switch. And I thought, no way. I'm going to go ahead and grab him. Since I don't have an attract studs pink brick, I'm going to go ahead and use his big body. And look at that. He jumps up quick style and grabs that mini kit as well. So I guess thank you, Sir Tur. Your services are no longer needed, though. So we'll see you later. We'll probably see you sooner than we want, though. Next up, we're going to use Iron Man to go ahead and fly out over the water. You're going to want to kind of fly towards the front right side of the screen. You'll find this floating boat out here that happens to have a couple of, I don't know what they are. They look like little ammo cases there. But we also have a green, a green, a silver egg. My colors need a little work, huh? But um, go ahead and bust open that silver egg with Iron Man's rocket ability there. And we'll go ahead and collect that next mini kit. Next up, we've got our character token for the level, which happens to be Moon Knight. We'll go ahead and approach this fiery building with all these characters in need of rescue. And we're going to go ahead and put them on hold because uh, look, they look safe. They look all right. Might be a little warm up there, but I don't think there's anything too detrimental going on. So we'll go ahead and take Iron Man and his heat ray. Really, it doesn't matter which character you use as long as they have the melting ability to go ahead and carve out this gold. You know how we love us some gold. Uh, we got a bad guy coming up our six there, too. We'll take him out and make our way in. And look at that. Booyah Kashow. We'll go ahead and add the old Moon Knight to our overall collection. Now, little note to you guys as we make our way to the Stan Lee in peril, the Free Lee. It will not add the character to your overall totals until you purchase him. I had a little minor meltdown because I had 75 characters after completing the story. And after com completing this level, I should have had 76, but I still only had 75. As it turns out, you have to purchase the character before it'll give you credit. So a little word to the wise. And uh, next up, we're going to free Lee, who happens to be in this spaceship with a glass shield preventing his escape. We'll go ahead and switch on over to the Black Bolt or somebody that has glass shattering abilities and go ahead and shatter that glass. And of course, free Lee, free Lee, free Lee. Oh my gosh, you know how good it feels to say that? Or chant that, I should say. But we'll go ahead and add him and throw in a quick Excelsior because he throws one in there for us as well. Now, next up, don't go too far. There's actually a mini kit tucked behind this right wall over here, as well as a bluesy and a purple twosy. So get your studdage on and grab that mini kit before moving along. Next up, we're going to fly over to this middle area. Now, I'm not sure if it matters which character you use. We just need somebody that can melt down this gold again. And look at that. We actually find ourselves a pressure-sensitive switch. We'll go ahead and hop on that bad boy. And what's this? Looks like a triceratops. That's a little suspect. 
Now one might think that that is it. This switch is done, it's been used, no more, let's move on. But that is not the case. Did you notice that it actually reset? It took its sweet time to do so, but we'll go ahead and jump on that guy again. What's this? Now we got a sword? That's unusual, hmm. Well, you know Lego, rule of three. So let's go ahead and wait for that switch to flip back to red. And I, I'm actually being impatient, so I went ahead and stood right on it. And look at that, now we've got a big cart or some sort of a crate. Ooh, a red brick fell out, that's pretty cool. Too bad there's no red bricks in this game. That's a little bit of a tease, but look at that. And look at that, inside those red bricks, you'll find mini kit number eight. So we'll grab that, thank you very much. Next up, oh no, some bad guys. We actually have to do some story elements here. We actually have quite a bit of story to handle. So, if you are in a hurry, just looking for those last two mini kits, feel free to go ahead and use those quick links down below for numbers nine and 10. That'll get you there to that final battle where we fight that giant Asan. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and do what we gotta do to make this story come to life here. Now, I probably could have just switched characters up here, but I gotta admit, Iron Man takes forever switching characters. So I don't know if there's like a trick that I need to figure out with Iron Man, but he always like pulls out that little tablet and pushes a button and then like shifts off his uh, suit and like, or sheds off his suit. And I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, anyhow, we went ahead and we did that. We actually switched to Drax. We pounded in that wall because he is strong like that. And we flipped the switch behind there, which actually brought in this really weird, I don't know what that is, the flying triangle of some sort. It's a pretty cool looking little spaceship. It just has enough juice, though, to come in and put out that fire. So group one rescued. We're going to get a check mark up top on those three citizens in peril up there. Well, at least at some point we will. Not after uh, we fall down below, though. First, we got to fall down and drop it like it's hot. There we go. We got a check mark locked up up there. And next up, we're going to go ahead and push this wheel around. That's right. Spin to win, people. Spin to win. Always hop on that green side, and look at that. We push that little, uh, I don't know what that was, some sort of a power switch or something up top. It opened up the elevator doors and got us some bricks to build. And, oh, that's right, it's the giant hamster ball. I don't know why I get so much pleasure out of hopping in this thing and, and seeing all this destruction, but it's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and get our roll on. We'll take out that ladder as we don't need it no mo. And look at those guys. Oh, no, don't get us. Ah, uh, we got them anyways. That's all good. We go ahead and remove that beautiful fountain area there, and it actually shows us that there's a little gravity booster spot. So we'll go ahead and switch on over to Star-Lord, a.k.a. Peter Quill, and get our gravity boost on. Oops, swing and a miss. Say second time, swing and a miss. Rule of Lego, third time's a charm. Oh, let's get those studs first, right? Got to get them all. All right, we'll grab them, and look at that. I love those gravity boosters, how it just rearranges everything in our path. Next up, we got somebody that that needs to be super strong, so we'll go ahead and make our way up there. And look at that! Look at that. I had no idea. Oh, and she uses both handles. That is awesome. Ms. Marvel can do the trick for us. Rip it off and get that second check mark, and we'll go ahead and make our way to the third and final group of citizens that need our rescue. These guys, you saw them already. They're in that kind of like another hamster ball up front, but it's got a silver block over the front of it, so... That's why they're bringing in Rocket Raccoon to the rescue here. Even though we're in free play now, we can switch to any character we want. The story-based element definitely gave us the ability to destroy Silver Bricks by bringing in Rocket. Because he's got that. He's got that. Turf them nades. All right, so we've got Rocket now. We can go ahead and hop down and free those last guys. And then we'll make our way into the final battle. Now, there's some confusing stuff. Now, there's only two mini kits, two collectibles, all we got left. You probably already got the True Believer stud requirement as well. And uh, we already freed Lee and got that character token too. So, just should be those two mini kits. Now, both of these mini kits gave me problems. I, I don't even really know why, but I, I do believe it has something to do with the active stuff on screen. So uh, we destroyed those. We got those three check marks up top. We need Groot to get up top. We probably could have flown up to the top, too, if we really wanted to. However, sometimes these story elements need to be completed in order to progress, even in free play. So uh, if you find yourself flying up top and you can't progress, make sure you drop Groot down on that spot and do the old disco shuffle and get everybody up to this next tier and make your way back up to the fire, which we need to put out. 
and then build up the gun. That's right, we got the big cannon we need to put on blast, literally, and uh, shoot up at the threat in the sky, which is going to be coming here any second now. So yeah, build those bricks into, I believe, a ladder piece. No, the ladder's already there. So I guess we're building the gun with these bricks. And wait for it. Maybe not. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, we got to get the satellite first. Beep, boop, 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 boop. So we'll go ahead and build this bad boy up and flip the switch. Actually, it's more of a spam the button for the switch. And look at that. We'll go ahead and take over this satellite beacon here. And now, it's kind of a weird deal. So we had to activate that to go ahead and turn on the gun. That's right, I forgot. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. You got to remember, I, I uh, started this game and then went on a week vacation and then had to make my way through the rest of the story to get through this. So it's been about three weeks since I played this level, which isn't that long. I guess I probably should have a little better memory than that. But, uh, all right, working our way up. you got to avoid all the pew-pews coming from the sky, but essentially you just need to get up top. It doesn't matter which character you use. Hop in this giant cannon and then get your blast on. we got to go ahead and take out this bad guy. Now, there isn't a meter. However, you do see damage in Sue, and eventually he drops down, and that takes us to the next little cutscene, which, again, we have removed, and it takes us to the final battle of this level and where the next mini kit is. So we're about ready for that. In fact, uh, let's go three... Two, one, go! All right, I was a little off on that. Mini Kit 9 is officially on screen, so we know we're close. If you use that quick link to get here, welcome! We've got Asan, the big robot who is a pain in our tuchus. And realistically, we're going to try to avoid him and all stuff going on. And look, we got Surtur out again. I don't know what it is with this game, but every time we load it in, it seems to default to our original characters that we and the game picked for us. But as it turns out, we actually needed a strong character to go ahead and crack through this crack in the wall or the ground on the far left side. Look at that. As soon as you hit the ground though it pukes out the mini kit and we'll go ahead and grab that as soon as we get through this so here's the first issue that i had I, this whole time thing it's kind of like i was kind of wondering well wait a minute am i gonna be able to get that mini kit so it definitely slowed me down and kind of threw me for a loop however i was immediately able to jump back in and grab that now this next one is a little bit more difficult it turns out you need to destroy some debris on kind of the front right side i almost said left the front right side of the screen there, and it should reveal a boinger pad. That's right, a catapult that should launch us up into the air and get us some studs as well as a mini kit. But I have a heck of a time not only trying to discover this little pile of debris, which it, it, it appears to have some silver bricks on it too, and our guide specifically says toss some grenades on it to reveal it. So uh, although I was kind of caught up in the heat of the battle, I didn't really see the silver bricks. I just saw some glowing bits over there. Uh, go ahead and throw some grenades over there with Rocket or Iron Man or whoever. And look at that. We've, I can see the, the catapult there, the little arrows. But I, for whatever reason, I can't write it yet. Like, I, I, I'm sure it's totally clear. I'm throwing more grenades. I'm blowing more stuff up. And, and it's for whatever reason, it's not letting me use it. So what I found out is, or what it appeared to be, is that you have to take out the right hand first if it's initiated this sequence. Now, if you loaded right into this battle and you went straight for this mini kit, you didn't go to get nine, maybe you could get it in time. Maybe there's enough time there. But if you did go get the other kit there, or maybe you got sidetracked taking out some bad guys, or you, if it ends up that you can't use the catapult, go ahead and make your way towards the middle, build the item you need here, and go ahead and take out the right hand even make your way up to that little uh, sphere up top with Drax and bust open the cracked wall and all that, then you should have no problem getting it. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know if any of you guys have struggled with this. Maybe this was a one-off time deal for me. Maybe you'll have no problems with it at all. But make your way into the middle. Use the gravity booster, which then stops him from blasting us. And it also gives us a gun to blast him with, if I remember correctly. Or no, it just draws his hand. No, yep, that's right. Draws his hand down, and we get some gun edge to go ahead and shoot at him. But look, I'm trying not to uh, do any of that. I'm like, come on, I just want this mini kit. I don't want to miss this mini kit. But it's not letting me do it. And as the camera spins around, you can even see that I had the whole catapult clear, and I should have been able to use it. So not sure if uh, that's going to be an issue for more people than just me, but I figured I would go ahead and give you a lengthy, detailed explanation on how I got it. Essentially, if it doesn't work, complete this whole section and then go back to it. And I don't mean whole section as in beat the boss. I just mean the right arm. Or left arm, I guess. It's his left arm, our right side. Oh, look at that. I finally got it. Woo to the hoo. 
So, uh, yeah, we got that. You're officially done with collectibles. So, uh, by the laws of LEGO, you could actually hit the start or options button, depending on which platform you're playing on, and you could go ahead and save and quit. That would actually take you to the final totals. You should see all of the normal, usual things that you grabbed in this at the final total screen, and it should speed things up for you. Now, in the past, we've always asked you guys what you prefer. Do you prefer us going straight to the end credits and missing any of this extra story elements, or do you like us talking over this extra stuff and actually performing the finishing moves to get through the level? Some of you guys, I've been told, actually don't watch our story videos. You simply skip those and watch our free play videos to not only get through the levels, but to also get those collectibles. I don't know if that's true or not, or how many of you, by numbers, are using that method, but regardless, uh, you know, let us know. Well, let us know what you want to see and how it's working for you, and uh, look at this. I tried to cheat. I flew up here with Iron Man, and I tried to bust this wall open. I was going to switch to another character that's strong, of course, and bust it open. Drax, no, no such luck. So it turns out, like, like I said earlier, sometimes there are these story-based elements that you need to complete in order to progress even some of the stuff. Now, I forgot. This is a pressure-sensitive switch. you got to have somebody standing on it. And, of course, I struggled miserably with this because the AI just doesn't quite figure this stuff out. In previous LEGO games, if you stood on a switch like this that required another action from another character, then it would always be smart enough and it would move that character over. But I... I'm not having any luck on this game with that. So I don't know if that's something they forgot or if they removed or maybe I'm just struggling. And maybe it could be user error. There's always that possibility as well. It could just be my luck. And speaking of luck, look at that. I am just the worst when it comes to getting up here. I like cheating and flying, and I couldn't do that here. Oh, ah, I guess I did do a little bit of flying here. But then instead of landing on the shoulder, he lands on this spaceship that comes out of nowhere. Like, where was that at when I was up there a minute ago? Anyhow, go ahead, and once you finally make it up there and crack this wall, flip the switch, or I guess turn the wheel inside, and that should pretty much do it for us. There's not a whole lot left. Uh, we actually have to go back down and shoot the belly of the beast. And I think that's coming in about three, two, one. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I, like I said, it's been a while since I've... Oh, here we go. Yep, there it is. We just have to shoot this. I don't think it matters which character you use. You could probably turf grenades with Rocket. You could probably shoot with Peter or Star-Lord or, uh, you know, Iron Man for that matter, too. Uh, let's see. Who, who do I end up using? Um, well, oh, I got Quill out. Star-Lord for the win. So I'll go ahead and toss a bunch of bullets right in his belly. Look at all that studage I got, too. Thank you very much. And after a little bit of a stomach ache there, no Pepto-Bismol for you, sir. He throws a gravity booster out, and we'll toss one in there. So I guess it helps to have Star-Lord out. Like I said, you can use whoever you want, but Star-Lord gets it done. We have this little sequence here where we have to spam the button to not get sucked into his tummy. And I do a pretty good job of keeping that meter full, 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 full. Hey, check us out on Facebook. If you have not already, every Friday we actually have a giveaway that sometimes has Lego, sometimes has stickers. We've had all sorts of things over the years, but we'd love it if you guys stopped by and checked it out and had a chance at winning some stuff that we had to offer. But uh, hey, check it out. Noah, son of mine, free play complete. We got all of the remaining gold bricks, which was, okay, so you get one for completing the story, one for getting the true believer stud requirement, and you also get one for freely, 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 as well as you also get one for finding that, or for finding all 10 mini kits. For, I was going to say for finding that comic book. But you have to get all 10 mini kits to get the comic book. And look at that. So, uh, job well done, sir and sirettes. I don't know. I don't know what the proper formal is for a female you know, as opposed to serving. Anyhow, uh, Mr. and Mrs., good job. How about that? Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Level 1 Noah Son of Mine Free Play. We are off and running with these collectibles. Hopefully, we'll get at least one of these out a day, if not two. But, uh, yeah, we also have a trophy achievement guide on our main website. Check it, check it out. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.